Overwhelming hot take from Carson Palmer last week on the QB Room podcast hosted by his brother Jordan Palmer on the question of whether or not Joe Burrow is a better NFL quarterback than Patrick Mahomes. Now, look, we all love Joe Burrow. We love Joe Burrow as much as anyone, but we recognize, I think we agree, Patrick Mahomes, a a cut above everybody at this point, especially after what we saw him do last year. But Carson Palmer, different opinion. He's entitled to it. Let's have a listen. I think Joe's the best quarterback in the league. I I think I know Patrick is phenomenal. But, but I just think Joe's more consistent. He's more consistent. He's more accountable to run the system and the play that's called and not feel like, well, he didn't win last time and get open for me, so I'm going to do it with my feet. And then before you know it, you're soft for a four-yard loss because you tried to make two or three guys miss. Joe is just – he. They're, they're talk about not having a weakness. Mentally strong, physically tough, accurate, can throw it far enough, fast enough gets the ball out quick and then he can actually do a lot with his legs he just rarely shows it and it's not i i think he's as athletic outside the pocket with you know and and can do a lot of the same things patrick mahomes has done he hasn't done it and showed it yet he's played more within his system and 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 style but i i think he's the best quarterback in the league now look Palmer's opinion, and this is what caught me yesterday when I looked at it, but Palmer's opinion relies heavily on the assumption that Patrick Mahomes is freelancing more than he should. The comment that, you know, when there's a guy who's yeah. who didn't get open before, so you're not going to trust him this time, right. so you're going to take off and run the ball instead of trust him to get open. How, how much of that is freelancing and how much of it is properly anticipating that today – your receiver on the outside who isn't Jamar Chase or T. Higgins isn't going to win the one-on-one matchup, so I have to plan accordingly before I, I stare him down because I know he's not getting open today. Yeah, There's a fine line there, there between is. freelancing and running the offense. Definitely, definitely. And you got to have you got to have a little freelance this day and age in the NFL unless you're on, like, the most perfect team there is and the pass protection is perfect and, okay, maybe you don't have to do that. But, you know, that's just not really the reality of the league right now in 2022, 2023, right? And I think you're, you know, hey, listen, we all know Mahomes has more of a a inclination to freelance, especially early on in his career, all right? We know that, yes. But we also know this is where I I don't love this all the time. And and, and Carson Palmer's not trying to blame anybody here or anything, too. But for whatever reason, Patrick Mahomes doesn't get, like, the credit he deserves. Or, like, I don't know, every year he throws, like, 40 touchdowns. And he's, like, in single-digit interceptions. And he's makes a phenomenal decisions. And just because, you know, where I'd push back with Carson Palmer, and I understand what he's saying. He's, got, he's trying to say Joe Burrow plays the position more by the book. And that's what Carson Palmer likes. And, okay, I get that. But this is where I, I have these arguments. And I have these even with ex-quarterbacks in the NFL. Just because he plays the way you like him to and he plays it more by the book how you see it does not make him better. I'm sorry. You know, it does not. The proof's in the pudding here. And Burrow's awesome. I mean, Burrow is arguably the second-best quarterback in football now, right? Maybe you could say he passed Josh Allen this year. He's the man, like you're saying. But I'm not ready to say he's the best quarterback in football when we just saw a guy have one of the greatest years in the history of football at the quarterback position. He just won his second Super Bowl, his second Super Bowl MVP, and his second regular season MVP. Yes, Burrow by the book more, surgical maybe that way within the offense. I'm not going to say he's better than, than a guy that's really, really special in Patrick Mahomes right now. The one thing that impressed me this year about Burrow, the way he elevates his game in the postseason. Right. Now, some would look at that and say, well, he should play that way from week one through week 18. Why does he wait until the postseason? But there's something that comes over him in the postseason where it's a fearlessness. He doesn't back off. He doesn't get careful. He doesn't do the Aaron Rodgers thing that you and I have talked exactly. about for several years right. where you're hypersensitive to every potential mistake. He's going for the jugular every chance he can get, and he just elevates himself. And look, he had he had a chance to drive. There, there was a moment late in the AFC Championship game where it felt inevitable. 
that the Bengals were going to yet again beat the Chiefs. And Chris Jones did a couple of Chris Jones things and shut down Joe Burrow. And then we had the hit on the sideline from Joseph Asai that put the Chiefs in field goal range. It felt like we were going to overtime. It felt like that thing was going to be decided in an extra session. That's how close it was. So it's not like the gap between the Bengals and Chiefs is all that great. And if anything, when they get together, Joe Burrow does have something special. But, but, and it just felt more like a football coach's take. Like, as a football coach, you want a guy who's going to run your offense, run my offense. And Joe Burrow is more within the buoys of the offense, and he's doing great things that way. Mahomes has to go beyond the offense to do great things. But so what? So what? That, exactly. He's going beyond the boundaries of the offense and doing great things. He's not running around and making a bunch of mistakes. Exactly. He's freelancing when he needs to, and he's doing great things when he does. Exactly. And he's leading the NFL in touchdowns, and he's leading the NFL in yards, and his completion percentage is barely less than Joe Burrow's, and he threw for almost 800 yards more, and he has only 21 more completions. So, and then he does not have Jamar Chase or T. Higgins or Tyler Boyd. So, again, Joe Burrow's the man. But, like, I think what we're saying here, Mahomes is, like, already in a special room in the Hall of Fame. Like we were talking about, he's in the Deion Sanders room already. For me, he's there already. He's already in the special room within the special room of the Hall of Fame. So, like, again, I love Joe Burrow, but, yeah, I'm not going to go as far as Carson Palmer is. I I think just because – he doesn't play it by the book the way he, you know he's talking about there. It does not make him better. It does not. Mahomes does not get enough credit for, like you're saying, all the great decisions and things he does at the next level at times and uh, playing the position the right way. I, don't, I think he's disrespected that way at times, uh, and he's the best quarterback in the game for my money right now. I think Patrick Mahomes is the closest thing the NFL has seen to Michael Jordan a guy who comes in and changes the way we think about the position, changes the way that kids play the position. Joe Burrow isn't changing the way anyone's playing about it. He's playing the quarterback position as well as anyone ever has within the strict boundaries of what we expect quarterbacks to do. Mahomes has defied the things that we expect quarterbacks to do. He moves in a way they don't. He throws the ball in a way they don't. He's revolutionized the quarterback position the way Michael Jordan revolutionized basketball. Unlocking a new universe of things you can do with your body. So all the kids out there, we've been saying this for years, all the kids out there, watch what Patrick Mahomes does, just like in the 80s. They watched the things Michael Jordan did, and they said, we're going to go try these things, and some of us can do it, and most of us can't. But the ones who can are unlocking this new potential. That's why I can't wait to see this generation of kids now, how many of them have the skill set, have the ability they wouldn't have known that they had if they didn't see Patrick Mahomes doing it. The stuff that your kid does that drives you crazy. Exactly. There's going to be kids out there that do that stuff and they do it well, like Mahomes does. And we're going to have multiple Patrick Mahomeses in the future years of watching football. At least, yeah. at least I hope. At least, at least I hope that this talent he has isn't so freakishly rare that no one else is going to have. Yeah, you know, he's a jump ball. He's a guy that's a, ahead of his time, right? I mean, is 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 he just is for all the reasons you just said. And yeah, he's going to raise the level of play at that position throughout because yeah, kids are going to. Oh, let me try throwing it like this. Let me do that. Oh, let me do this escape move. I've seen all Mahomes do it. It's only going to make the better. We're already seeing it. The guy that's going to be one of the top two picks next year in the draft, Caleb Williams at USC, he plays like like a Mahomes. It, that's, it's, it's just like, oh, you know, we used to look at like 10 years ago and man, go, man, 30-footers. People are shooting 30-footers in the NBA, and that's crazy. And then all of a sudden Steph Curry came and like did it in his sleep, and now everyone's like, hey, 30-footers are good for the NBA. Everybody shoot them. That's what – like Patrick Mahomes is doing for the NFL. You're right. He's a poster child for a number of unbelievable things. And he came in the league and won the MVP his first year of playing with 50 touchdown passes. It's He's a special, special person. Burrow is too. I'm just not ready to say he's better than Patrick Mahomes right now. Not after that year. Not after taking his team to the Super Bowl. Beating a team that's better than his team in the Super Bowl while you're not 100% healthy. I'm definitely not going there right now uh, in that discussion. Yeah, two Super Bowl MVPs, two regular season MVPs. 
And they did it the hard way both times. Behind in the second half, both games. Came back, and it's Mahomes. It's exactly what we saw coming two months ago as we were getting ready for the Super Bowl. The Eagles are the better team, but the Chiefs have Mahomes. And he has proven he can erase the difference between the talent gap yeah. from, from the Eagles to the Chiefs or the 49ers to the Chiefs or whoever they face the next time they go to the Super Bowl. Right. And the Chiefs. Mahomes is good enough to overcome it. And I think Burrow is too, but you got to win a Super Bowl. Of all these other guys out there, Chris, I think we've both come to a loose consensus as to who the franchise quarterbacks are right now. It changes all the time, yeah. but right now, Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, Trevor Lawrence, six of them. And the other five who aren't Patrick Mahomes are at a lower level until one of them gets a ring. You got to get a ring or a regular season MVP trophy to catch, to even begin to get in the conversation on tier one. You know, how you're doing your tiers with your yeah, draft picks. Right. If we're doing tiers with the, the franchise quarterbacks, tier one is Mahomes. Tier two is Burrow and Allen. Right. Tier three is Hertz and Herbert. Herbert. Right. Trevor and Lawrence. Lawrence. And maybe, is that fair? Right. Yeah. And I, Hertz I, is close to tier two. Yeah. Hertz is kind of between two and three. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd be ready to put him there, but I think you're you know you're on the right track there. You're you're close, and Lamar. I'm certainly gonna throw Lamar close into that conversation he's, too. He's he's on the fringe. He's got to so, yeah. He's got he got to get a contract, and he's got to stay healthy. Be healthy. For the full That's season. right. That's the biggest yeah, thing. I mean, yeah. Fair or not, fair or not, you get injured in December and you don't show up for the rest of the year. That 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 it, it hurts you. How can how can yeah. you go make your legacy in January if you're not playing in January? Exactly. So right. that's fair. That that it, it it hurts it hurts your qualification for shortlist franchise quarterback. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.